But anyways, I just get a little bit and then I dab it under my eyes. But I just put a little bit on. Because with um, concealers, you want to put a, a thin layer, a very thin layer on. Um, and then wait a minute or two and then put another layer on. So if you just put absolutely loads on, you'll just get this horrible cakiness. But if you've used the right colour for like colour correcting, then there shouldn't be any need to really layer it on anyways. And then just dab. Don't really swipe it. Because you don't want to pull in your eyes and also it won't um, give as much coverage as if you pat it on. So just like that. And then already you can see there's a difference. And then you just want to do exactly the same to the other eye. And don't forget right in that corner there. Because that tends to be where people can have um, the most discoloration. Just like that. And then I like to do two layers. Because I find that gives me enough coverage. And um, cream concealers tend to be more buildable than liquid concealer. that and then I like to go back with a tiny little bit of foundation because this foundation which is the um, Revlon Photo Ready foundation is very buildable it doesn't go cakey or anything and I find my discoloration isn't enough to use a, um, a green concealer but I find just putting a tiny 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 little bit more foundation on um, covers it up a little bit better so if I have any um, blemishes, I put it on, but I tend my skin has been a lot clearer lately since I started using a um, new face routine and I've had a request to do that, so I'll do that very soon. Hopefully I'll have time to do it today. But again, you just want to pat and then just where I have a little bit more redness, I'll just put a little bit on, not much just a little bit and then just pat that on and that'll just really give me that flawless appearance so then you can set your makeup with a face powder I found this foundation it dries pretty well and I don't need to set it with a face powder but it has got a dewy finish so any places where you maybe don't want um, to look dewy then you can just use a matte powder and I just dab it on my chin because I don't really want to look all that dewy on my chin on my nose and just on my upper lip slightly just like that and then you just go in with any sort of blush that you wanted or if you're using a cream blush you'd if you set your whole face with powder and you're using a cream blush I recommend putting it on before the powder and then using a the translucent powder so I hope this tutorial is helpful for anyone um, and I hope the bit about colour correcting and colour wheel was helpful for people who um, don't realise that the green concealers and that can actually um, cancel out certain colours um, so I hope it's helped and I'll see you all very soon